stuff with the Pikachu. Uh, reminder once again to those of you watching, this is a Division 4 match. So, as I said earlier, the widest range of skill levels on display in this whole tournament are going to be in these Division 4 matches, and I have no idea what to expect from I Do Stuff. Will they do stuff or not? Let's find out. Okay, looks like I do stuff doing some foretold some jabs. Spark able to get around that going really aggressive on the Pikachu recovery. Maybe a bit unnecessary to contest that so heavily off of the stage. And better to just stay on the stage and try to chase down that landing. Fox is a character with a lot of speed, so he can cover quite a few options. Or like maybe Reed Tika going to the ledge. Spark doing these like aerials to try to edge guard the Pikachu uh, player. Perhaps not the best idea for Fox, he's just kind of going for a read there. Never had the right idea on that one, going for the dashing up smash to follow up that one, but missing the dash, ended up just getting the up smash. Oh, the dash attack from I Do Stuff. Almost setting up a kill. Didn't clutch on that edge guard against Fox. Uh, I think the recognition in that situation to uh, just grab the ledge because Fox is too far away is something that I do stuff maybe has not been yet. But the dash attack again. Spark uh, maybe trying to do the melee thing there of starting the Uvvy next to the ledge. Uh, just kind of like have it. Or it could have just been like a. a it's a tough situation because you don't want to end up below the stage recovering as Fox either. Okay, big back throw for my new stuff. Oh, and once again, actually applied enough pressure off of the stage to set up an edge guard where he could just held the ledge and close up the stuff with the edge And once again, he's just not confident enough with those puppy ledge snaps to really capitalize on that. So maybe he might be able to get more off of that if he just were to jump and grab the ledge. There you go. Drop off, hit the, hit the back air. That's pretty simple. I just was able to finally take that stop after a lot of drop edge cards. The up air, not quite gonna do it. Spark has gotta find his kill now. Forward tilt, that's something. Nice up jab, up smash, finally gonna do it. Pikachu living all the way to 173%. Ridiculous. And that back throw could just be it. it. Looks like I do stuff has definitely got a solid uh, idea of like what stuff to do when you throw Fox off the stage. Getting out there and testing with those aerials. Uh, the only problem really has been the, the trouble with movement and trying to grab the edge on top. But if I do stuff is able to clean that up. Definitely looks like a solid Pikachu in this matchup. Up tilt, granting the knockdown. Spark rolls out of the corner. Just content to play underneath the side plot. Jumping up, attacking Pikachu on the top platform. And the up smash. Spark, for the first time in this match, puts himself in the lead. Very high in the sky right now. Maybe he doesn't want to get grabbed by Pikachu, but a high shine. He's in really a dangerous position. Yes, uh, Haruti's doubles his on Sunday. Starts at 11 a.m., I believe. Down air from Spark. Just, well, these tilts are crazy. Climbing the ground. And Pikachu almost does it. And that active forward smash from Pikachu just lasted so long. Covering the ledge drop from Spark, that is a situation where you were just like forced by Pikachu to do something, and the something that Spark did was not right. You would have to do a ledge option to get out of that, and once he's committed to that forward smash. Oh, and you still got him off the stage. The dash attack, once again. No! Huge tech error from I Do Stuff. This really just needed to grab the ledge there. Kind of giving the game a spark. Unfortunate stuff. It's just a little bit of a, uh, a lack of control. 
going off of the stage. Not, not having the confidence to go. Terra Fox and instead of doing these jump towards forward airs, which really are netting them a lot. If I do stuff is able to clean up those edge guards a bit, uh, I would say they're definitely getting enough neutral wins in order to like take these games. Let's see if Spark continues to allow them to happen though. Or if they're able to make a adjustment. It's commentary quiet, I can uh, adjust that. Let me know. Is this any better? Or can I have a game? Too loud. Uh, how about this? Is this any better? I might be too loud now. I don't know what's going on. I'm turning too many knobs. I could also, oh my gosh, that's too loud. <laughs> I am now too loud. Certified. How about this? That looks good to me, I think. Uh, I can also, yeah, I can turn, oh yeah, no, I'm, I'm peaking now a little bit. So I need to turn that down slightly. I don't want, I don't want to like clip, so. Game audio is, down a couple. That might be too much. I'm doing this on a like laptop trackpad. You think this is good? I'm a little worried that if I get too loud, it might be too loud. So I'm gonna slightly turn myself down. But this like looks like a good balance to me. Anyway, as I was doing all of that, I do stuff, able to get a three to two stock lead in this game, uh, which crazy because it started out so strong for Spark. Oh, jab, missing the up smash. But the forward smash is catching that floor roll. So Spark is back in this for sure. Did you accidentally double jabbing? I do stuff is putting out a lot of preemptive hitboxes right now, and as long as Spark doesn't jump into those, he should be all right. He's running the wrong way though. It's a bad trade. I thought I do stuff was gonna do another dash attack there. It didn't happen this time. Oh, there's the dash attack. I do stuff definitely likes using that move. I think was going for another one right there. In fact, uh, shield pressure the up tilt. Spark rolling to safety. Fox has such a good roll. He's one of the characters that has the fastest roll frame data. I think it's 33 frames or something. Very advantageous to have that quick roll to get you out of trouble. Jab up smash. Spark hits those now. Thinking a lot better. I just realized I have the score wrong here as well. It is 1 to 0 for Spark at the moment. Okay, Spark building up the damage here. Playing it safe, using the big fox back air to just keep Pikachu at bay. Oh, I thought that was gonna be another jab up smash attempt. I do stuff turns the situation around. Can you do this edge guard? Once again, no, I do stuff just jumps out there and then gets a little underconfident and jumps back onto the stage. That being said, they're able to clean up that stock with a back throw. Spark has a big lead here though. If I do stuff is able to close out one of these throw edge guards early on, it could just turn the game around like that. Spark really wants the jab up smash. He gets back thrown so far away from the stage. Again though, I do stuff just not confident in the edge guarding ability. Likes to jump out there and then just kind of jump back to the stage without really threatening enough. And that was, if I do stuff watches this bot, that was like the crucial thing that was going on is just the lack of confidence not going out there to hit Fox. You have a lot of time to do that. Free for all. all right, and it looks like Sugaaku is sitting down to be Spark's next opponent. Spark just kind of running the